before we get into the news, make sure to subscribe to my first and second channels and hit the notification bell to stay notified of future uploads. And follow my Instagram to get notified more frequently of MMA news before it is posted on my YouTube channel, and feel free to follow my Facebook and Twitter as well. After a recent showing of Michael Bisping's prosthetic eye on his podcast called Believe You Me, Charles Sonnen reacts on his YouTube channel. Sonnen states, How many fights have you seen boxing MMA where a guy gets his eye closed and then never goes on to win the fight? Charles Sonnen asked. How? Seeing where your opponent is is a very big deal, particularly peripheral vision. When a guy gets his eye shut, it's very rare that he ever comes back and does well. Go look at Tyson Fury's last fight. One of the reasons so many of us respected what Tyson Fury did wasn't just the push and pull struggle of that fight, it had to do with he couldn't see out of one eye. It's just a really hard thing to do. Michael Bisping went out and won a world championship, oh and by the way didn't even tell anybody. There will be another side that, oh he shouldn't have done that, he should have disclosed this to the commission, Charles Sonnen continued. I get that. I'm looking at it from the more barbaric standpoint I will admit to you, what a tough guy. Michael Bisping is a legitimate badass. And the sport has fewer and fewer of them. It's got some very good athletes and the skills have greatly improved every time and better athletes that aren't going into the footballs and the basketballs, and the baseballs of the world, they're coming into MMA. The sport's at a real high point in that regard, but as far as the mentality of true tough guys Michael Bisping fits that bill. He is a true tough guy in and out of the cage. Next, Israel Adesanya responds to John Jones' rants about him on Twitter with John stating previously, by the time this kid gets his confidence together he'll probably already be in the heavyweight division. I don't need to wait till 2021 to start believing in myself. So, Adesanya responds and says, my confidence. Get in my fucking nuts out of your mouth. Adesanya said, via MMA mania. This guy is trying to force my hand. I'm not stupid. It's not about me not being confident. I will fuck this motherfucker up when I fight him. I just have to do what I have to do, he continued. I have to defend my belt. I just defended my belt and I am the new unified king. I have three or four more killers I have to fuck up at middleweight first. And then I will move up in weight. And then I will jump up and fuck this guy up. I plan everything from the jump. I have shown everyone that this is what I am going to do and how I am going to do it. I already said Raiders Stadium, Las Vegas in 2021, he added while pointing out that John Jones is suddenly talking about moving up to 265 pounds now that Daniel Cormier is retiring. And he is contradicting himself because he says, I think I'm alright here, at light heavyweight I'm not going to move up to heavyweight. Why do I have to go up? I don't have to fight DC at heavyweight. Now DC is retiring and now he might move up to heavyweight. Israel Adesanya said. He's just contradicting himself and trying to take my moment. You can't even fuck with me right now, dude. Look at me. Who the fuck is the new face of UFC? Do you think John Jones can ever pull some shit like that? I saw him with that bullshit as Nelly entrance when he did the electric slide. You can't fuck with me on anything. He is jealous. He sees the freshman that is fucking taking all the shine. He sees the new dog in the yard. And they're intimidated and jealous and they do not know how to act, he added while saying at the end of the day, Jones is a fan. 
He's a fan and he's always been a fan. But he just tries to do what he doesn't just wait your turn. I'm not going to be one of these guys who doesn't defend his belt. I am going to defend my belt actively. I'm not going to be like him and fight twice a year. Let me defend my belt, then I will move up and fuck him up. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below of what you thought of the video and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified for more.